race for the White House. Donald Trump Jr. campaigns in Colorado for his dad, who is closing in on Hillary Clinton in our state. Trump Jr. spoke exclusively with Cardio News Channel 13's Eric Fink. Eric joins us live in studio with a one-on-one -on -one you will only see here. Well, Heather and Bart, Trump Jr. campaigned in Fort Collins today, and we got about 10 minutes with him this morning in Denver. There are hours left in Donald Trump's bid for the presidency and for his son, who's been a trusted advisor and leading surrogate. What's it like for you? Listen, it's, uh, it's both amazing and incredibly difficult, right? I mean, you see, my father's been in the public eye for 30 or 40 years. The incredible aspect of it is being able to go around and see people who have watched their jobs shipped abroad, who've watched the American dream get exported to other countries, who come there with the last glimmer of hope that this is the guy that can shake up that D.C. system that has failed them so many times over and over and over again. He knows he's the privileged son of a billionaire, but Trump Jr. says over the last 17 months, this campaign has not only changed his father, but it's changed him. And as the finish draws close, he says he is getting emotional. I'm not necessarily an emotional kind of guy, but you see it day in and day out. And you say, man, these people's lives are dependent on this. You know, they're looking for real change. They're looking for that hope that's been promised to them the for decades by politicians that never seems to get delivered. What did you learn through this process? It's been a grueling one. Oh, what have you learned about politics? <laughs> uh, listen, and I'm, yourself. I, you know, I've learned it's a nasty business. Uh, it, it's a nasty business, and it's, it's not fair. Uh, at the same time, uh, I think the best lesson that I'll take from all of this uh, is, is the positive side, actually. It's easy to be glib about life. It's easy to get, you know, carried away with yourself. I'm guilty of it myself, certainly. It's been a humbling process. Now, Trump is gaining on Clinton in key battlegrounds, including right here in Colorado. A Denver University poll taken after the FBI's decision to review the investigation into the Democratic nominee's email practices shows this presidential race now deadlocked with four and a half days to go at 39. Live tonight, Eric Fink, KRDO, News Channel 13. Eric, thanks. You may recall two weeks ago.